some sunshine today. Careful there. I was just playing with that. <laughs> playing with that. Uh, Clear yeah. shot of Mount Washington. Beautiful. It looks great. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm torn. I'm torn. I've told you before. I don't mind March snow because yeah. sun's out till 5:30 or 6:30 yeah. coming up. Not this weekend, but the weekend after. And you melt some of it during the day. Right. You can enjoy it, and then it goes away. Fairly yeah, it doesn't quickly. bother me that much. But that will be tested, I think, over the next couple of days for a lot of us Push because of the, the limits. succession of storms coming through. We're 37 in Portland, but man, it's a comfortable one. I was actually out uh, shoveling in <clears throat> in short sleeves today, and not trying to be a tough guy at all. It just it, it just with the sun, it felt pretty good. Um, so now we're in the upper 30s, we'll be in the low 40s for a few hours at least, with quite a bit of sunshine. Here's our next storm system, right that low, right towards Minneapolis and the um, area of showers down towards Dallas. They're going to come together in a way that that's why I'm calling it a modified clipper because a clipper comes down just from Canada straight across. That's not quite the case. This will get involved and in, in amp it up just a little bit here tomorrow. Rest of today is fine. There are more clouds that come in from southwest to northeast. We're cloudy tonight and there will be some light snow. It looks like according to the small scale or mesoscale models over York and Cumberland County. This is not going to be a precursor though that the forecast is uh, incorrect that it will be largely rain along the coast. This is just really not associated with the storm. So a little light snow, maybe a dusting to a half inch happening tonight. And then here comes the actual system. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow. And so what's going to happen is I think we're initially going to be too warm along the coast. It'll just be rain. Inland will be snow, but a wet snow. And eventually temperatures do cool down along the coast, but I don't know, 34, 35 during the day in March, that's tough to really accumulate. And we just saw it yesterday, right? It snowed all day pretty much. And we got maybe a half inch of snow out of that. And then when the sun set, then we were in business. So that's why the coast you'll see in the map coming up here doesn't have a lot of snow. Inland, though, it's cold enough and uh, it is snowing consistently enough that they accumulate several inches of snow through tomorrow night. And then the storm moves out late tomorrow night. We have a quiet day Friday and wait for our next storm on Friday evening into Saturday. So under an inch, we do want to let you know there will be some snow here but I don't think it's going to be uh, over an inch. Obviously, that's why we put under an inch, but there'll be some slush around one to three. And we did put um, down east in that because there's still snow there after sunset. So that gives them a chance to see more snow there. And then three to five uh, from the mountains back into just north of Bangor. I did get a little bit more amped up. I was thinking two to four, but there's more moisture than original. So let's talk about Friday night, Saturday. Um, it's still there. So let's start with that. Friday night into Saturday, still a snowstorm. The European model the temperatures got a little bit colder along the coast, which is kind of what I was looking for to happen. It's snowing all day Saturday into Saturday afternoon. Here's the issue, though. This is the European model. Look where the snow shield is, okay? And then we're going to bring in the GFS model, which is a decent model, and it's so much more flat. Look at that. It cuts off way south of Bangor. And so I don't see how we can make a map until we know where that cutoff is going to be. Um, I think either way, Portland's in it, but we have to figure out for central and northern Maine if this is a thing or not, because you can't put 6 to 12 and get nothing. <laughs> well, you can, but you better leave town. Um, so we'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to try to make a map this afternoon, but uh, hopefully there's some more agreement there. It does get quieter. Looking ahead to next week, as we've talked about, it's coolish but it looks a lot quieter. I see a couple of snow showers, rain showers. I don't see at this time any major storms for next week. So we take a little, a little breather. For that. Yesterday was a great lesson in the, the snowfall accumulation before and after yeah. the sun. All day yeah. it was ripping and it just can't do it. So I think we're going to do that again tomorrow along the coast. All right, Keith, thanks so much.